Now, the boat fire that made headlines this weekend is again in the news tonight. The reason the damage to those four luxury yachts is causing concern for the environment. CBS 4 Tiffany Helberg is in Coconut Grove with what's being done about it. Tiffany. Antonio, this is a massive undertaking that continues as we speak, even though it's starting to get dark out here. Take a look off in the distance. You can see crews are still working to secure that yacht that you see and working to clean up the area around it. There's still a very strong odor out here in the air. It's the residual from fiberglass fuel and electrical wire that Burton actually smells worse than the smell of a house fire. Uh, government agencies are working to see if any of these uh, any of those chemicals might negatively impact the environment here. Covered from head to toe in protective gear, crews work to cordon off and clean up the area where four yachts burned in an intense fire Saturday. That's what we're working on now is putting their own per perimeter around it, you know, getting rid of all the pollution. Rand Pratt is with CETO, one of two companies working the cleanup. You can hear the vacuum truck in the back, which is skimming the water surface for any uh, you know, oils, which are, again, virtually gone. They took away one of the yachts Monday morning and plan on doing the rest day by day. The final yacht, the most challenging, as it's still submerged underwater. He says it's a process that's more time consuming than it is difficult. We've got a lot of guys here that have been, uh, you know, they were over at the oil spill, the BP oil spill. So this to them is nothing. The Department of Environmental Protection says they are investigating the potential for environmental damage by measuring how far and how deep residual fuel and oil leaked into the water. At the same time, fire investigators are still trying to figure out what sparked the smoke and flames in the galley of this yacht. The boat's captain and a family of three narrowly escaped with minor injuries. They don't suspect any foul play at all. As the clues to what led up to this accident could be waiting for them several feet underwater. And some of those clues also lie in the surveillance video that fire investigators are now studying. They estimate at least $7 million in damages here. We're live in Coconut Grove. Tiffany Helberg, CBS 4 News. That was quite a fire, Tiffany. Thanks.